explain the difference between um, the insurance uh, policy that a, a commercial tenant should have and one that a commercial landlord would have? And then maybe I can explain who's paying for what. Sure. So a, I'll start with the landlord. So the landlord's responsible for the building and the common elements in the building. So if I was doing a, if I was doing a, um, somebody came to me with their, with their, with their building the, that they're going to rent or lease, um, I would uh, value the building. So again, if there was a fire in the building and the building had to be replaced, they're the owner of the building, here's how much it's going to cost to replace it. Um, uh, and um, I would look at what um, rental income they're generating from it so that if there's a uh, the building's going to be out of commission for a period of time, that when they look at all the, um, the lease or rental uh, income that they're generating, here's what it is. So they have coverage for that. Plus any contents that are theirs that they provide. So any, um, any kind of content coverage, any kind of, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily, I wouldn't say leasehold improvements, but anything that they own would take away that is a, that is a, a removable thing that would be a, um, a property coverage versus a, a building coverage. Um, and then all the all the things like sewer backup water, all those kind of things. So if any of those uh, issues come up, they would be covered for that. If I was doing the tenant side, um, what I'd be asking for is, um, what I typically see in the leases is the tenants are being asked to cover their contents. So their business contents, um, if it's a, you know, it's a business where they have stock and inventory and all that kind of stuff, all those kind of things, um, any of the furniture, um, any of the leasehold improvements that are made into the space would be there. Um, that would be on, on for them to, to pick up. And then the liability that happens in their space. So um, if I'm in the, you know, if I'm in their office or I'm in their in space and there's something happens to me, I slip and fall, I'm going to sue them. I probably will sue the building too, um, but I will sue them. And um, typically what I would see is the landlord asking the tenant to add them on as an additional insured party to their policy so that again, if I slipped in their space and I went to a personal injury lawyer and he said, we'll sue the tenant and sue the building owner, that the tenant policy would pick that up on the behalf of the, of the, of the building owner. Yep. And, and, and in commercial, um, the, the, the nice thing, if you're a landlord is that, um, the, 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 and this is the part that is a little confusing for some people, the tenant is paying for their own insurance the way that Chris described it, but the landlord is actually charging the tenant back for the insurance that they're getting for the building. So the tenant, and sometimes newer or first time commercial tenants will go, well, that can't be right. Why am I paying for two insurances? Well, I'm sorry to tell you that that is the standard, at least in Ontario, is that commercial tenants, 95% of uh, commercial tenants pay for uh, uh, the property owner's uh, property taxes, their maintenance on the property and insurance.